Hi, I'm Larry, one of the sales engineers here at Multi-Wing America. And today I'm gonna to review the proper procedure to install a fan on a shaft using a taper lock bushing. The first thing you should do is to get a clean rag and wipe down all of the components. You wanna make sure to remove any lubricants or debris in the, on the boss, on the bushing, and on the shaft. Once those three components are clean, then you're going to want to insert the, insert the bushing into the boss. It's important to line up a clearance or free hole on the, on the bushing above a threaded hole on the boss. This way when you insert the three bolts and tighten them down, they'll draw the, the bushing into the taper of the bore and, and tighten it securely on the shaft. If you mistakenly thread the, hole, the uh, bolts through the threaded holes on the bushing. You'll get a torque reading, but you'll never actually tighten the bushing into the boss and it could actually fall off the shaft. Once you have these three bolts finger tight, we're gonna put the fan on the shaft. It's important that you don't use any thread locking compounds or any lubricants when you're doing this. The thread locking compounds could actually Give you a false torque reading you could over tighten this and actually crack the boss and then any kind of a, a lubricant uh, or anything on the shaft could actually allow the fan to fall off so once you've inserted the, the uh, shaft into the bushing next you would insert the key i don't have a keyway in the shaft here so i'm not actually going to put one in but this is the point where you would slide the key into the the shaft in the bushing once you have this installed, then you're going to use a torque wrench. It's important that you do this with the torque wrench. If you were to take a, a nut driver and just drive one bolt all the way home, you could actually cock the bushing in the, in the hub. The bushing is steel, the, the hub is aluminum. If you get it off center, and as you tighten the rest of the bolts, it will just gouge it off center. It will cause the fan to be a little bit off center and actually cause vibration uh, when you're running the fan. It's also important that you just do a half turn at a time. So you're gonna take your torque wrench and you're just gonna walk around the boss a half turn at a time until all three bolts are set to the appropriate uh, torque spec. All of our production fans will actually have a yellow or an orange sticker on them. That sticker will have the torque spec for each individual bushing. This is an SH bushing on this particular fan. I know this is set to eight foot pounds of torque, but I could have also found it on the sticker if it were a production fan. Once I have these three bolts all set to eight foot pounds of torque, this is properly secured on the shaft. And that's how you're supposed to install a bushing on the shaft. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.